Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up Webhook inside Gumroad. So Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. Gumroad is an e-commerce platform that allows creators to sell products directly to their audience. So in this video, I'm going to tell you step by step that how you can set up Webhook inside Gumroad and send the responses to other applications as an event will take place. So now I'm going to set up the connection. So over here, I will go to my trigger window and I'm going to search for Gumroad as my trigger application. Here it is. Now moving to the trigger event, that will be new sale. So I'm going to tell you that whenever a new sale will take place, then this trigger is going to start working and it will get the details of the new sale over here in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to select the trigger event as new sale. And as I did that here, you can see a webhook URL is given and along with that a help disk is given. So read this help disk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your Gumroad account with Pabli Connect. So now in order to set up a connection, I'm going to take you to my Gumroad account. Over here in Gumroad, I will go to settings. And in settings, I will go to advanced. And here in advanced, I will go to this ping. So over here in this ping endpoint, I need to mention the webhook URL. So I'm going to remove this existing webhook URL. And over here, I'm going to paste the URL from Pabli Connect. So I'm just going to copy this webhook URL. And over here, I'm going to paste it. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on update settings. But let me show you a test response first by clicking on this send test ping to URL. So as I'm going to click on this button, then automatically a test response will be sent to Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on send test. And over here, it says your last sales data has been sent to your ping URL. So that means a test data has been sent. And here you can see that in Pabli Connect, we have received the details. So here you can see the details of the last sale that has been made in Gumroad. So here I will go to Gumroad and now I'm going to click on update settings because we have successfully got the test data in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on update settings and your account has been updated. That means our Gumroad account in Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now here in Pabli Connect, in order to capture a new response, I'm going to click on Recapture Webhook Response. So I'm going to click on Yes. So here you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I will go to my Gumroad account and let's say I'm going to buy this product that is by the name of watch. So I'm going to open this URL. So this here is the watch and over here I'm going to buy this product. So I'm going to click on buy this. So over here, this is the product that was watch. You can see the quantity and here is the amount. So over here, I'm going to mention the email address as demo dummy at the rate publicludes.com. I'm going to mention a dummy phone number. I'm going to mention the full name as dummy customer. Here the street address will be ABC Road, city will be Bhopal, country will be India and here is the postal code and the country will be India again. So over here, I've filled in the details and now I'm going to click on pay. And here you can see that it says your purchase was successful. We have sent a receipt to demo dummy at the rate publicuse.com. That means we have successfully made a purchase of this product and the response of this purchase would have been captured in Public Connect. So I'm going to take you to Public Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I have received the response. Here are the details. Here's the zip code, street address, state. You can see the short product ID. And over here, you can see the full name. That was dummy customer. You can see the country, city. Here you can see the sale timestamp, sale ID. And over here, you can see the link of the product. So I'm going to show you the link as well. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to open in a new tab. And over here, you can see that it has directed me to this page of the product. So here in Pabli Connect, that means I have got the details of the latest sale which was made. So we have successfully set up Webhook inside Gumroad. That means now whenever a new sale will take place, then automatically the details will get captured in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as over here, I've got the details. Now further, I can add these details to any other applications and I can send these details to any other application. 
So this is how you can set up a webhook inside Gumroad and get the details of the new sale in Pably Connect and further send or add in any other application. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pably Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pably.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pably Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.